All right, guys, I'm out here on the slave today. Let's see if I can catch some walleye. Probably got to break in some weathers. It's actually not that bad out here now. Got my uh, little dock demon rigged up with the pickler rig. And then I got a little jig head on my comp right here. And we're going to see if we can get it done. Get back to you when I got some fish. Well, I don't think I got that on video, but here's one. Finally got one in the boat. Let's see if I can get him on hook and get him released. Nice fish. I get a good picture of him first. Thanks, bud. All right, boys, that's one. There's many more to come. Another. Oh, I've lost another one, boys. God, late. Here's one, here's one. Gosh. Must be on a school or something. Let's see. Am I marking anything on the fish finder? We got a little bit of activity on there, I guess. Okay. Might have to take my tail off so I can get some more bite. Make sure this thing's actually recording. Be able to tell. I think it is. Hopefully you guys can see good. About 6:30. Water temps are 16 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure if anybody's from the states watching these. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Oh my! Yeah, I'm taking the tail off, boys. It's the only way. Rocking the redhead, black tail. I'm about to pull the tail off and just run the redhead. I found the, I'm hooking them through the eyes. Well, this guy's a little frozen, so I'm gonna hook him through the eyes on this and just go through the body here. Let's try that. Let's see what we can do with that. Maybe I won't get any bites because I took the tail off. We'll see. Sorry if the wind noise is bad. The wind just picked up all of a sudden. I don't know how long I can be out here. It's one of those lakes where you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, here's one. Yep, that's what it was. Took the tail off. Really nice walleye. Ooh, he's got some fight in him. Just try and keep him out of the anchor. Feisty little guy. I guess he's not bad. I shouldn't say little. picture of this guy too. Say I'm catching fish. I'll get it back on Oops. Another one boys, that's two. Been on you for about ten minutes. Let's see what I'm working with here. Yeah. Nothing on that. But I guess. Double opportunity, you might as well leave it down there, see what happens. Guess I can give you guys a little, you've probably seen this in a couple of videos, this kayak. Bought this about a year ago and I ended up not using it for a year because I had knee surgery and then this year I decided to break it out. So, I put a Garmin, it's a 5CV, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, fish finder on it, Scotty rod holder. Little Scotty transducer mount back. Yeah, I had to go and buy an anchor because I was getting pushed around by all the waves, so I thought I'd better get one. But other than that, I love this thing. It's got a front storage compartment. I put my battery for my fish finder. And that's about it. It's got two rod holders on it. Came little small ones. They're good for holding rods, but pretty hard to see if you have a bite. I guess I got no minnow on this one. Better change it. Oh, getting some action on my. Pickle rig, it looks like. Yep, got one on my pickle rig. There's one. After I said I was gonna change that, get the bend in that bad boy. We got 
got here. Nice walleye. Try not to get hit by the second hook. Get him unhooked and in the water. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. I used to call this the world's smallest rod challenge, maybe. Pretty much got a nice rod when I'm jigging for walleyes right here. But I think it works perfect for a little kayak. Let me know what you guys think of these videos too. I know I'm not a any professional fisherman by any means, but I sure try my best to make good videos and I keep you guys entertained. I hope you guys like them. If anybody out there wants to give me a little sponsorship, I'll rep whatever you want to a certain degree. Oh, here's one. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Maybe I can actually fold the paddle up now. I usually don't fold the paddle up till it's good. But um, it's looking like it's good, so. Got the freaking 36 inch leader on it. A little too long, I think. I don't know if you can hear what I just said because of that jet ski, but I'm sure it's fine. My location for this uh, video is on my. Hold on, just interrupted by this fish. Hang on a sec. Not a nice walleye. Definitely folding the paddle up now. Definitely folding the paddle up now. Small little guy, but still fish. Nice fish. Back in the water. Anyway, like I was saying, fishing location for this, I'm out at my fam family and another family went uh we came uh, camping here at shaw's point it's a nice campground nice place to fish i'm right out in front of the, the beach here and uh it's a good lake pretty busy if you're not into the busy type of thing but good fishing it was uh the gruard bridge we probably go and fish that that'll probably be in the later on in the video Weather probably will get a little worse again, so definitely see some of that probably. If somebody fishes this lake also and they pretty avid at it and they know where they I can catch some perch, I'd, I've yet to catch a perch and I'd really like to, so you can leave that in the comments or whatever. Just let me know where I can try and find some perch. Pretty funny if I uh, tell you that I hook into one. But I guess I'm not really in the right spot, probably, for some perch. I think they're more of a weed fish, I think. I don't know. I think I'm going to give this spot about five more minutes. What time is it? And then I'll uh, abort mission and maybe move deeper, move to the right more towards that point. 640, I guess. 645. I'd like to get some more fishing in before this storm hits, it looks like, anyway. So we'll see. One thing I was worried about having an anchor in a kayak is if I get one of these anchors planted too good that I'm able to uh, unhook it, it's going to be pretty uh, fun to try and unhook it. As I say that, might be good taken out by a jet ski wave. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, got a fish over there. Oh, missed him. Got him. Person running the net, looks like me. 
never get a fish on my first try. There was only that once. Well, I'm thinking maybe I'll just move spots now. This. Yeah, these are those rod holders I was talking about. There's one here and one here. Ten foot, I don't know if I said that, but. Let's see, got any uh, minnows left on my uh, pickerel rig. One, two, yep. Oh, and some weeds. But weeds never kill anybody. I guess I'll pick you guys back up when I get to the new spot. Well, guys, I'm seeing a lot of activity on the fish finder here in this spot. I only moved about, I don't know, 30 yards maybe. We'll see what happens here. I think I'll give each spot about five minutes unless I catch a bunch of fish, just in case. Cause that looking pretty black straight ahead. My dad and friends are uh, in the ski boat on the other side. But I like to listen to some music, and unfortunately, I get copyrighted if I uh, listen to any music. So that'd be best just to. Get here in my kayak and see what I can do. And so far, it's paid off. So that's good. Got on the fish finder, right about six, five feet. I have these fish symbols turned on, but I don't know about it because I don't remember how to turn them off. Right there. Pretty much, I think it marks just about everything. So we'll see. Oh, those are fish for sure. I think I'll turn them back on just because. If anyone knows anyone that's being generous and want to upgrade me into something like that boat, instead of this kayak, let's talk. I think we better just move in total. I'm not going to give it three minutes. I'm not feeling great about this spot. I'm going to go with my gut on this. Alright, new spot, about 11 feet. Keep moving deeper, see what's going on. I got a couple fish marked on here, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna give this one a little bit of a minute, move somewhere deeper. Maybe I should, maybe this is the spot. I had like two big ones I could have kept. I caught a really small one like this big. I caught an Ashton sized fish. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Might have been a little too early on the one. But, oh, uh -uh. I'll give that a dock demon one thing. It's. Dock runner. I think the dock team might be the American one. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's pretty sensitive. You definitely tell when you have a bite or what's, what's going on. I know I uh, use these uh, ice fishing before. I love it. Got some length. It's a backbone. You know, you can fight a big fish if you really had to. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Going on with the pickle rig here. Let's get a little bit more slack and see what happens. Seen a guy here yesterday had a little Minkota trolling motor on the back of his kayak. Not a bad idea, but at the same time, what's the point of having a kayak if you have a trolling motor on it? Might as well buy an aluminum. <laughs>